now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're monitoring this cold front that is to our north and west. You can see all of those showers and thunderstorms firing up ahead. That is going to be the source of our rain chance for tomorrow. Storm Prediction Center already has us under that level two risk for severe weather. That's stretching from Virginia all the way into Massachusetts uh, and actually into Vermont as well and New Hampshire. So this is covering lots of folks. Our risk here uh, is uh, mainly about wind. We're talking about damaging wind, heavy rain, potentially doing a little bit of flash flooding in some isolated locations and the potential for hell not completely out of the question. So we're going to be on guard throughout the entirety of the day. Now the models haven't picked up on this early morning rain chance, but I do think there's going to be some light sprinkles some lighter showers moving through uh, through the eight o'clock hour for the morning and then we'll see some of that energy slide through as we get closer to 12. But we're really watching the late afternoon three four o'clock for these showers and thunderstorms to really start to take off and move through the area. We'll be watching that through six seven. Once we lose the heating of the day, we'll start to see those showers and storms linger, but not be as intense as they are earlier on in the day. And then on the backside of that wind shifting and coming out of the northwest through the overnight. So planning the day, uh, make sure that you're weather aware, at least for the afternoon but also know that there's going to be southerly flow ahead of that front. So temperatures are still going to warm. I'm not expecting us to hit 96 like today, but I expect us to crest in the low 90s with heat indices that are going to be a couple of degrees higher than that. So that heat index is going to max out in the mid 90s. And then as we head into your Sunday, still some lingering cloud cover from that system as it is kind of slowly pushing to the south and east. Can't rule out a stray sprinkle earlier in the day, but expecting some clearing for the second half of your Sunday. So if you were thinking about, oh, hey, I want to get out this weekend, maybe get something done uh, in the yard or maybe take the kids out to the park. I think that the better time to do that is going to be late Sunday afternoon into the early evening hours because that's going to be the clearing and the cooling period where temperatures are going to be falling into the upper 70s, low 80s as we get closer to the overnight hours. And then, of course, Everybody is trying to make plans for the 4th of July and the good news. There's only one day in the forecast where the rain chance is under 20% and it's going to be on Monday. So that's going to be your best opportunity to get out and about. Throw some steaks on the grill, sit by the pool. Daytime eye hits 90 degrees and we've been tracking Bonnie uh, or at least uh, the low pressure system associated with Bonnie for the better part of a week and finally developed several hours ago, made landfall near the border of Nicaragua and Costa Rica. It's going to cross into the Pacific and actually re-intensify. It's going to get a new name because it will be in a new Basin will no longer be any of our concern, but our real concern will be next week as we're going to be kind of dealing with the similar setup to what we saw last week. Riding that ridge of high pressure is going to bring in the chance for some pop up showers and thunderstorms each day in the forecast next week. Scattered showers likely on Friday as well.